Hello, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas. When I go to the library, I can't resist picking up baking books. I like to look through them. This one sounds a little more scientific, though. I haven't peeked through it yet, except when I did a quick flip through on Instagram for a reel. It's Recipes and Ratios for Perfect Pastries. And it's by Russell von Kreienberg. Kreienberg? Kreienberg? It came out in 2015. And I have a feeling it's going to be a really, not complicated, but I'm a beginner baker. <laughs> Let's check out the contents. Getting started. What is dough? Measuring, ratios, ingredients, tools, mixing methods, tips for working with dough. Then the recipe is biscuit dough, scone dough, pie dough, short crust dough, sweet crust dough, pate au choux dough, brioche dough, puff pastry dough, rough puff pastry dough, croissant dough, Danish dough, and phyllo dough. So basically this is a guidebook, everything you need to make those. Wow. So I wonder if there's a lot of pictures or just illustrations and diagrams. Sugar and sweeteners, leavening, baking soda versus baking powder, some tools that you need to make your life easier, etc. Step-by-step little illustrations and diagrams. Good. Helpful. Okay. Biscuit dough. I have so far not succeeded in making good biscuits from scratch yet. I use Bisquick and they come out fine. So I'm going to pay lots of attention to this chapter later when I'm not reviewing this with you. Mixing the dough. These little tips are storage, uh, qualities of good biscuit dough. I like sidebar tips. Uh, these are drop biscuits or cookie cutter biscuits or layered cookie cutter biscuits a la pull apart. Biscuit dough recipes. Bourbon maple glazed cheddar bacon biscuits. Hello! Come to mama. Except for the bacon part. I'm vegetarian. Blackberry mint shortcakes. That's right, shortcakes are made from biscuit dough. So they talk about the ratio. This recipe has a one to one ratio of dough to toppings. They chat about the recipe and why they're doing it that way. Yield six shortcakes, prep time one hour, bake time 12 minutes. Here's the ingredients, here's the steps. Pretty straightforward. Cinnamon, port, plum, cobbler. Does it have port wine in it? Duck fat biscuits with tarragon gravy. I don't have any duck fat in my house. Now we're in scone dough. I'm going to learn about scones, how to shape it, uh, qualities of good scone dough and how to store it. That's, this is very helpful. Brown butter blueberry scones, capocolo brie scones. I don't know what capocolo is. Pie dough. Lots and lots of, as you can see, uh, diagrams. Here's the pie dough recipes. Apple spice pie. Bourbon chocolate pecan pie. Yum. Probably full of lots of sugar. Plum cherry galette. I love making galettes. Grilled corn and thyme chicken pot pies. Ooh, I like savory. Hey, I'd like to whip one up for dinner for my boyfriend. Mine would have tofu in it. Short crust dough. The whole section on that. Storage qualities of dough, etc. Here's a strawberry bakewell tart which I can't seem to turn the page and I want to be careful. Sorry. Okay. The ratio is one to two. The dessert is more filling than short crust with a one to two ratio of dough to toppings. That's very helpful to know. Homemade strawberry jam, in case you have the time. Grape jam tartlets with salted lemon creme fraiche. That sounds amazing because the lemon sourness would cut into the gooey sugar of the grape. Lemon tea mini tarts with a cherry on top. Okay, let's move ahead because I can't show you the whole book. Homemade Pop-Tarts. <gasps> Root Vegetable Spiral Tart. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Serve that at a dinner party and see your guests go like, whoa. Sweet Crust Dough. Such as an apple tart layer cake. Or a chocolate cherry tart. That would be my pick. I love cherries. Now, are we getting into another chapter? I don't want to mess up. Yes. Pate au choux. For example, you can make with, here's the diagrams for how to do it, and for example, salted caramel eclairs, there's the picture of them, salted caramel popcorn, salted caramel pastry cream, vanilla be bean ice cream profiteroles, cinnamon beignets, thyme gnocchi parisienne, 
I love that they're including some savory things with these cheddar gougiers. Mm, yum. Yes, yes. Now we're on the brioche dough. I'm very intimidated by brioche. Very. Here's the recipes and the step-by-step. -step. Brioche a tête. And how about mm, cranberry pistachio braided brioche loaf. It looks burned. I'm not that impressed. Me. PB&J filled donuts. I'm sure it's delicious. Cinnamon rolls. Most baking books have to have a cinnamon roll recipe. Now there's puff pastry. What are we going to make with puff pastry? A galette de raw. Galette of the kings. Beautiful. Cherry pecan maple hand pies. I like making hand pies. They're fun and they're the perfect size. Honey bourbon, bourbon pear tart. Cinnamon twist. Kind of simple. Um, how about rough puff pastry? What do you make with that? I'm guessing tarts, ginger apple tart to tan. Here's croissant dough. Whoa, that wasn't a lot of recipes under that. As you can imagine, the croissant section is getting kind of, whew, kind of long. Okay, here come the recipes. A poolish croissant dough, classic butter croissants. I'm scared to attempt them, even with the help of this masterful, wonderful book. Pa au chocolat. Cinnamon orange croissant honey buns. Okay, we're getting close to the end of the book. Um, Danish dough. Do you make your own Danishes at home? What's going on? What do you make with this besides a Danish? Cherry cheesecake Danishes. Yum. Nice and gooey. <laughs> Maple braided Danishes. I would actually prefer that because it doesn't look like a complete sugar bomb. Apple strudel. Yum. And we are at the end of... Oh, phyllo dough. I almost skipped the whole phyllo dough section. And the only two recipes they give us for that is baklava, obviously. No spanakopita recipe. And sun-dried tomato stacks. That looks good. This is amazing. I love it. I might have to invest in this. I'm going to take a closer look when I'm off camera. Thanks so much for looking through making dough with me. I definitely recommend it if you're a little beyond a beginner baker. And I bet if you're an advanced baker, you could use this for reference too. Uh, you can see more of our cookbook look-throughs and previews on the cookbookdivas.com website. We talk about cookbooks on Facebook and Instagram and on our Cookbook Divas podcast. And of course, you can watch our video cookbook reviews on YouTube. Thanks so much.